Welcome back everyone. I have a fun one for you today. I'm going to show you how to create this dreamy looking bokeh ball effect in Affinity Photo 2. I started with this image of a beautiful fairy holding a butterfly that I found on pexels.com. I also found a bokeh ball background image that I've already opened. I'll go to file and then copy. Then, I'll switch back to the fairy image and go to File and Paste to paste the bokeh balls into a new layer. I'll turn that layer off for a moment by clicking on the little dot on the right-hand side of the layer. Now, I just realized that I accidentally opened this up in the new Affinity 2.6 beta that came out a couple weeks ago. I want to isolate the fairy, remove her background, and put her on a new layer. So, I'll test out the new Select Subject feature instead of using the Selection Brush tool like I usually do. If you are following along at home, you can use the Selection Brush tool in the left-hand toolbar to paint over the fairy. Anyway, to access the new Select Subject feature, I'll go to File and then select and scroll down to Select Subject. Affinity will think for a moment and then, wow, pretty good. The software was able to capture most of my fairy with just one click. Normally, it would take me much longer to paint over the entire subject. So, this is a nice little time saver. Anyway, I'll now go to the Refine tool in the top toolbar to make sure I get in the details. I'll switch to the Foreground Adjustment Brush tool and paint over this little bit of dress that was missed in the selection. Whatever I paint over will be added back in. Then I'll make my brush head smaller by clicking on the left square bracket a few times. I'll paint over this bit of butterfly wing too. Next, I'll use the matte adjustment brush and paint over these areas where her hair and the background meet. I'll use the right hand square bracket key to make my brush head a bit bigger and paint over the hair. Affinity will do its best to include what it can. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'll select the output to a new layer and then click Apply to remove the background and put my fairy into a layer of her very own. Okay, I'll get back to the fairy in a moment. But first, I'll just click the little dots on the right-hand side of the layers to turn the other two layers back on so we can see them. Next, I'll select the top layer with the bokeh ball effect and then go to the blending modes drop down at the top middle of the layers panel and I'll scroll down to overlay to blend the image in with the two layers below. Then, to lessen the effect a little bit, I'll go to the Opacity slider to the left of the Blending Modes drop-down, and I'll slide it down a bit to where it looks good to me. Alright, now I'll select the bottom background layer and then click on the Adjustments button at the bottom of the layer panel. I'll scroll down to Brightness and Contrast, and I'll lower the Brightness slider down a bit to make that layer a little darker. Then I'll drag and drop the adjustment layer onto the bottom layer to clean it up a bit. Okay, next I'm going to duplicate my fairy by selecting the layer that I isolated previously and clicking Command or Control J. Then I'll select the lower of the two fairy layers. I'll then go to the Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Gaussian Blur. I'll raise the slider up about as far as it can go. The top fairy will stay clear but the blur in the layer below makes it look like she's got a nice soft glow around her. If I click on the dot to the right to turn the lower layer off and on, you can really see the effect. Alright, next up, I want to make the little butterfly glow a bit brighter, reflecting off her fingers a little bit. I tried to select the butterfly using the 2.6 beta's new object selection tool, but it didn't seem to work very well in this case, so I'll go old school and use the selection brush tool to select the areas I want. As with any brush head, you can use the left square bracket key to make the brush head smaller and the right square bracket to make it bigger. Alright, now that I have the area selected, I'll click on the New Pixel Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel to create a new layer above the top Fairy layer. 
I'll go to my paintbrush tool in the left-hand toolbar. Then I'll use the sliders in the color wheel to change the color to yellow. And I'll then just paint over the selected area. The selection kind of acts like a mask and will contain the paintbrush strokes. Next, I'll go to the blend modes and scroll down to overlay. This will help to blend the yellow paint into the butterfly and fingers on the layer below. All right, last thing here, and then I'll let you go. I'm going to select the bokeh ball layer and then use the arrow shaped move tool in the left hand toolbar to drag the corner nodes out and make the image bigger. I can then move the image down and to the right a bit so that one of the bokeh balls is over the hand and butterfly. This works really well with the yellow glow I just added. And so yeah, there you go. Doesn't that look nice? All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.